So it's uh, Vitality of the FA Cup third qualifying round. It's Newcastle United women against Gated Rutherford ladies. It's coming up. Here we are at Kingston Park. This is the home of Newcastle Falcons Rugby um, Union Club. Uh, and today this is the Vitality FA Cup third qualifying round between Newcastle United women and uh, Gated Rutherford ladies. Now of course Newcastle United women, I think this might be the third time they've played here this season. They're in the fourth tier of the uh, women's football league system, the National League Division 1, uh, playing uh, Gated Rutherford who were in the seventh tier, the Durham County Ladies Division 1. So really uh, quite a David and Goliath clash, a local Derby, a Geordie Derby as well, so it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, and of course, Newcastle will see this um, as an opportunity to have a lot of possession, to uh, gain some additional confidence and, and, and some bang some goals in, that's what they'll be hoping. The Gated Rutherford ladies, they'll be seeing this as an opportunity to cause a massive upset because I think they're going to be bang up for this game. Now a couple of days ago I interviewed one of the Gated Rutherford ladies, Stephanie Gregory, formerly Stephanie Lorraine who told us about life under uh, Mike Ashley and the old ownership and the struggles that women faced in competitive football. So if you haven't checked that out, it was only out a couple of days ago, make sure you check it out. Uh, but also as well, earlier on this week, I went to Gated Rutherford Ladies Training Ground at Lobley Hill to catch up with them. So here I am at the Gated Rutherford uh, Football Club's training ground in Lobley Hill and Gated Rutherford there in the Durham County Women's Division 1 which is a seventh tier of women's football. Of course Newcastle United women are in uh, tier 4. So this is a massive game for the Gated Rutherford uh, girls. So um, I'm going to catch up with a couple of them, um, introduce them and see how they feel about this massive match on Sunday. So I've got Charlie Brooks with us now. Uh, Charlie, so what position do you play? I uh, play goalkeeper. And how good are you? Aye, I really <laughs> <laughs> So a tough match on Sunday. So um, how long have you played for Gated? Um, just over a season now. So I joined at the back end of last season, um, just in the pre-season friendlies. And then I got one under me, but then joined for the season. And then this is my second season now. So I've got Mel Scott with me. Mel, um, welcome to Tyneside Life. So what position do you play? Uh, I'm a striker. How many goals you scored this season? Um, including pre-season, I think around 20. Oh, so that's really good, yeah. So you got the match on Sunday against Newcastle United Women's. Is this the biggest match of your career so far? Uh, yeah, this it will be a big game, obviously, with the, the the team, as in Newcastle, being bigger than ever at the minute. It's going to be, obviously, a really good game. So I've got Steph Gregory here with me. Steph, um, welcome to Tyneside Life. Uh, what position do you play? Um, I'm a centre-half. And um, who do you think you're going to be up against uh, at the match on Sunday? <laughs> Probably Katie Barker. Uh, there's a good chance I'll be against Casey, though. I know she's quick. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll be up against them. Both are quite prolific goal scorers as well. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, we are the underdogs, but everyone loves an underdog. So hopefully I can keep them under control. <laughs> and I understand you used to play for Newcastle United women's team. <laughs> yeah, a really long time ago. Um, probably looking back... 2012 maybe oh, wow. so myself and Robin uh, a couple of us are ex-Newcastle so yeah be a good test so how cool was that and of course you can tell from the lasses that they're really excited about this game now of course you'll probably know that YouTubers can't film inside grounds including St James's Park anymore um, but I'm going to go inside we're going to um, catch as, as much of the atmosphere as we can as it goes along from the stands see you shortly half time here at Kingston Park it's Newcastle United women's seven Gated Rutherford ladies and Neil, bit of a whitewash going on. Charlotte Parker, I think, has got a hat-trick already. This could go well into double figures, I'm feeling for the girls. But it's absolutely horrible, the conditions out there now, really. Uh, it's raining, wet, slippy. But I'm going to catch up with a couple of fans and see uh, see what they think. Right, so who have I got here? What's your names? Evie, Maisie, Evie. <laughs> Evie, Maisie, Evie. You kind of both have the same name. Eh? Are you sisters? No. <laughs> so who are you supporting today? Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. And do you play football? Yeah. Who do you play for? Red House Farm. Who's your favourite Newcastle United player? Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, yeah. And what do you think of the game now? 7-0? Yeah, impressed. So I've just met this lovely family from Darlington who've got a nine-year-old daughter called Maggie May, M-A-I. And she's been diagnosed with a, a rare uh, brain disease called Moya Moya, which is a restriction of one of the capillaries in the brain, uh, resulting in July 21. She had a stroke. Poor lass, and she spent three months in hospital at the RVI. 
Now, one of the Gated Rutherford girls, Melissa Scott, number 10, she would visit uh, Maggie quite regularly there and, and gave her a lot of support. Consequently, uh, Melissa's uh, one of Maggie's favourite players now. So anyway, let's meet this uh, lovely young girl. Right, so who have we got here? What's your names? Jessie Maggie. Jessie and Maggie. You're not sisters? No. No. And you've got Newcastle United tops on, but are you supporting the Rutherford ladies? Yeah. Yeah. So I've heard an interesting story, Maggie, that... Uh, one of the ladies from Newcastle United Foundation called Melissa looked after you in some way. What happened? Um, so basically she did loads of sporting events like that you can adapt to in hospital. So you were in hospital. What happened? I had a stroke. You had a stroke? Oh my word. So when was that? Um, last year. Last year. Yeah. And Melissa helped you, support you by organising different things? What would, you, what would you like to say to Melissa? Thank you. Well, she's brilliant. How are you feeling now? Okay. Yeah. You're much better? Yeah. yeah. Melissa, 12 nil. How was that? It was tough. Obviously, the three leagues, or three tiers higher, so we expected it to be tough, and it was. But, um, I mean, we did everything we could, so, yeah, it is what it is. Now, we've got uh, Maggie here and our best friend, Jesse. I understand you know Maggie. Yes, so um, I work for the Newcastle United Foundation and my role is to coordinate the Great North Children's Hospital programme. Um, last year, was it? Maggie was an inpatient, so I did some work with her in hospital. Yeah. She had a stroke, yeah? She what, did, yeah. What sort of support did you give her? So the programme aims to kind of do like sport and education activities um, for inpatients and outpatients who have uh, a chronic illness or cancer. Um, so we just we did some like sports and things, didn't we, here um, on ward while she was recovering. And you're Maggie's hero now, do you know? That's good, because we've got beaten, I'm still a hero, that's good. <laughs> so we've got Sarah Coxon here now, the manager of Gated Rutherford Ladies. Sarah, um, how did that go for you? Um, to be honest, um, Newcastle always knew that they were going to be a really good team. They proved that today, getting the ball down, passing it around, stuff like that. Um, and I thought I can only give credit to my girls. They just kept going, doesn't matter what the scoreline was, right to the end, to the point where I had players, I couldn't make any more subs, and they kept going. So for me, absolute massive credit to them. Becky, 12 nil. everything you could have hoped for? Definitely, it was you know the confidence boost we needed. It was brilliant to see so many different goal scorers on the pitch. Um, and it was just fantastic to see our forwards hit the back of the net today. Um, they work so hard, they contribute to so much, but I think for a couple of them, they just want to score more goals. And it was a great opportunity for them today. And yeah, there's some really brilliant finishes. I thought Georgia Gibson's finish in the first half was brilliant. Top corner, struck it really well. Um, and yeah, sort of some really good play, good little combinations in the final third and everything we could have hoped for. So back to the league as well. I think you've got Barnsley on Sunday and you've slipped down to fourth. How important is a match like this for the confidence and going forward? Yeah, it's a massive confidence boost. I mean, we're still two points from the top. Um, we were disappointed against Durham and Sestria not to get three points and that would have taken us right to the top of the league. Um, but, you know, people have dropped points this week. Um, there's a draw midweek. That's important for us as well. Um, but, yeah, three points on Sunday is almost a six-pointer. Um, we know that it'll take us right up the league and hopefully into that top spot if we win on Sunday. Um, so we're preparing this week really hard to make sure that's the case. Hello again, Steph. Hiya. Thanks for joining me on the channel. Uh, you knew it was going to be a tough game. Was that a tough game? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever done so much running. <laughs> really tough. Um, we knew it was going to be, um, but, you know, three leagues above us, so we're still proud of ourselves. We still kind of didn't give up, so, yeah, still pleased with our team. So there we'll have it, the Vitality FA Cup third qualifying round. Newcastle United women 12 Gated Rutherford ladies nil, but a, a lovely heartwarming story we had there from little Maggie, age nine, who had a stroke, supported by the Newcastle United Foundation and Melissa Scott. Lovely, lovely story. But as regards to the result, put it into context, you know, there's a big gulf between the two teams, between Newcastle and the Rutherford ladies. It's a bit like Newcastle United playing Sunderland.